welcome to Young Turks, the show that puts the spotlight on two young achievers every single week and takes you through their journey to success. I'm Shireen Bhan and joining me on the show is Anita Balagopalan. Hi Anita. Hi Shireen. She's not what you'd think of when you say typical NGO founder. Shaheen Misri of Akanksha Foundation is more of a social entrepreneur. Meet her later on the show. For now it's back to Shireen. My guest today created architectural history when he designed the Wipro Technology Center in Gurgaon, which has been certified by Leeds as the largest platinum-rated green building in Asia. Catch up with Vidur Parjwan on Young Turks today. <laughs> His motto is stay green and he's made that point loud and clear. Meet 39-year-old Vidur Bhardwaj, the man behind Vipro's green building. Asia's largest LEED certified platinum rated eco-friendly building. This is a landmark project for this Delhi School of Planning and Architecture graduate who decided to strike out on his own in 1992. The last decade has seen Vidur designing IT parks, hospitals, multiplexes, shopping malls and even some homes. But oddly, his beginning was rather modest. A friend of mine, he, he owned a place in Karat Place and he wanted a staircase done. So he asked me for my help and that was really the first project I started. Every day we were building the staircase and I was designing it and every day I used to go and stand there and look at it. Mm -hmm. And it took us about a month and a half and I must have gone there 30 times. Probably I haven't visited a single site of mine 30 times after that. But yes, it started with that and well it's been 12 short years to say to So how many steps did it actually take you from that staircase to actually, you know, build something that, that you thought was a turning point as far as your career was? Uh, see, typically speaking, what we did was that whatever clients we worked with, they were very happy with what we did. Mm. So starting with the staircase, really speaking, we did some houses, homes, and then moved on to large corporates, hospitals, healthcare and software. That's, that's what we are doing now. <laughs> Vidur is now channeling his energy on creating the largest green building in the country. With 2,000 people working on the project currently, this building offers an eco-friendly, high-performance and low-wastage environment. Uh, the Vipro building was a design competition which we won. And after we won the competition, the project was, uh, was postponed endlessly. Okay? There was no concept of green buildings, leads, ratings and all at that time in India. Uh, when the project was revived, it was almost about three years, we obviously thought we'd revisit the designs. When we went to revisit the designs, what we found that the designs held good. And normally in three or four years, designs, architecture style changes. But we thought we could, it, it really was working well. Effectively, in pure business terms, we land up saving over 46% of the energy, you know. So if, 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 if the energy was to be spent 100, we are spending 50 odd, which is, which is fantastic, you know, in, in terms of electricity and sort of air conditioning. So barring a few tweakings, right, as per the requirement, we represented them and they loved it. Uh, after that, we suggested to them that why don't we go for a green, this was the first project Wipro was doing in North. And then we started working on it. And then I went and did a presentation to Mr. Premji. And, uh, you know, we knew, uh, we were only talking about green at that time. And nobody knew what ratings were, yeah. you know, what kind of ratings, how to get them, because it was all very new in India. Yeah. And when we went for the uh, presentation, you know, uh, he asked me, Vidur, what kind of ratings are there? So I said, so, you know, there's silver, gold, platinum. It's a lead rated, then silver, then gold, and platinum. So he said, what kind of ratings are you giving me? And I just looked at him, and, you know, I was like kind of a bit awestruck. And I said, so it's only going to be platinum. Mm -hmm. He said, if it's going to be platinum, then we are on for this. Mm -hmm. And when I came out, the entire project division of Wipro was like looking at me like that. How could you commit platinum to the boss? Because platinum is virtually impossible. Mm -hmm. I said, now we committed, we got to deliver it. <laughs> off as a one-man operation, Vidur now has a 75-member team. With offices spread over all over the country, Vidur has now worked on projects in Abu Dhabi, Dubai and Malaysia. A strong believer in designing for the end user, Vidur is proud of this project. This is the Lotus Valley School in Noida and strikes a balance between what kids want and what's ecologically sound. See, we were always very clear that we wanted to use with the, uh, work with the end user. Mm -hmm. Because actually when you work with the end user, you really realize you know, what, what they want and how you need to deliver that. 
So as part of the design philosophy, that was the first step I did. I, I resisted working for large or small developers in the initial parts of my career. So we landed up learning a lot. And uh, uh, typically speaking, we did take part in a few competitions and we won most of them. Uh, that was quite interesting because we were a very small team. There used to be only one girl working for me when we won the first competition. And slowly and slowly now we have over 75 odd people. But tell me something, you know, you've, you've designed the Wipro building, which is sort of an IT development center, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Uh, you've designed the Max hospitals. You've designed a couple of schools as well. Uh, how do you kind of, you know, how does it work? You know, do you have to sort of switch off? and then think technology, switch off, then think hospitals. How does it actually work? How do you kind of, you know, uh, find yourself in this sort of space? See, what we try to do is we try to live, you know, live in the mind of the person who's going to be working there. Like, for example, the school we've done in Noida, right? It's, it's, it's really been uh, developed, uh, it's, it was brought to us by these people who've never done a school before. We, we actually kind of dream through what a school should be like for little kids. It should be a lot of fun and, you know, a whole lot of things. So that's what we did for the school. Uh, for the Wipro, it was all technology, and it was it was based on how many seats we can fit into the area. But the backbone of design is always the same, right? Be it the the kind of electrics you put in, the air conditioning you put in, those things are pretty much consistent. With projects worth 650 crore rupees underway, Vidur still takes time out to do something special. Orem, the design store in the heart of South Delhi, is his labor of love for his wife. An eye for detail and an eco-friendly design philosophy, Vidur Bhardwaj is leaving his imprint on the Indian architecture scene. We're sitting in a place called Orem, which is one of the leading sort of design furniture stores in Delhi, and it is also owned by your wife, yeah, and you helped design it. <laughs> well, I had no choice but to design it, really. Uh, but here also, if you see, we actually punctured the hole in the basement floor, put a glass roof so that natural light comes in. So it's, again, integration of floors. That's something which I really enjoy doing. Well, uh, if you were to, you know, talk about the Vidur Bhardwaj design style, what mm -hmm. would sum it up? I think it would be designed for the people, uh, designed by our team for the people, and something which, which grows with time, not something which is just, you know, looks nice for the first few years and just goes away. Mm -hmm. It's more about style than a design, uh, you know, like a particular kind of design, a particular kind of style. We always talk about in our design team, let's make something stylish. That's why we'd sum it up. And in an existing building or project that you really admire, respect, even though it may not be necessarily yours. Well, I've always loved the Indian International Center. Mm. If you look at that building, it's been designed by Stein. It's been there for years. And every time one goes there, you get, you get positive vibes. It's something which grows every time you go there. That's one of the projects we admire the most. So five years down the line, where do you see yourself? Five years down the line, I hope to make more green buildings. I hope to make more eco-friendly buildings. And, uh, and what I want to do, and I'm discussing with a few of my friends, is uh, really take uh, this kind of architecture to smaller towns, mm -hmm. to homes. If you look at the Indian homes of the past, they've always been green. Mm -hmm. It's only that they were never documented. So I think we need to go back to our archi old architecture and really spread it across and make this uh, country and this uh, world more eco-friendly. Is there a dream building, a dream project that you think about that you'd really like to do? Yes, there is one, actually. I don't know if it's possible. I have always dis wanted to design something under the sea. Speaking about uh, trends that we are seeing as far as the Indian market is concerned, you've uh, designed the Vipro building in no. Gurgaon, which has been platinum ra rated, and it's you know it's supposed to be this eco-friendly uh, uh, building. Is that something that you know Indian corporates are willing to think of? Of you know whether it's a di from a design dynamic point of view or from an ecologically friendly point of view, are they willing to think out of the box and get innovative with their designs and their buildings now? I think the answer is yes. They're beginning to think. I don't know if they're beginning to do, but they're definitely beginning to think. At the same time, if you look at it, there are only, uh, I think there are only a few 30 buildings which are going green in this country. There must be 500,000 which are being built. And if you look at the kind of ad campaigns and the campaigns which are for save the, you know, save the animals and the skins and the furs and so on and so forth, which I'm a firm believer of, what about save the planet? Aren't we all animals of this planet? Well, that was architect Vidur Bhardwaj going green but in style. Time for us to take a short break on Young Turks, but when we return, another young achiever, stay right there.